If you've set up a default Shopify contact page, then you probably have these exact fields, name, email, phone, and then comment. Now, I don't need the phone number on my site. I'm not gonna call anyone. Uh, so I want to remove this and I'm gonna show you how to do that. It's really easy, it takes less than a minute. So let's get started. Now here I am in the back end of my store. I'm gonna go to online store themes and then actions and edit code. I wanna find a file called contactform.liquid and you can just search for this. So contact, and there we go, contactform.liquid. Now on this form, we're gonna look for the phone field. So we're just gonna scroll down a bit and you can even search for the word phone by hitting a command or control F to bring up the search and then just type in phone and you'll find this. So it's div class field, div class field. You see, this is the phone. This is the uh, text area for the comment. And um, this is basically it. Now you can delete this but I recommend actually just commenting it out. So in, in, um, in programming, when you comment something out, it means that it won't be read by the computer, it won't be output. So it's like a comment for maybe for another developer. Um, and so you can comment things out, meaning you prevent them from being read by the computer, right? So everything in between these comment tags will be completely ignored. And I think that's a better way of hiding something rather than completely deleting it. Because what if you wanna bring it back later? Then all you need to do is delete these uh, comment tags and hit save and it'll be back. Whereas if you delete it, you'll be like, oh, how do I bring the phone field back? So let's hit save and let's refresh. And there we go, no more phone field. Okay, so guys, I know you probably wanna change other things in this form, like maybe you wanna change what this says, name, email, maybe you wanna change comment to say like, what's up or something like that, or maybe you wanna change the send button to something else. And of course, you might also want to add your own fields, maybe another text area, maybe a drop down. So I will be making another video covering all of those things, and I'll be releasing that in the next week or so. So make sure that you subscribe and maybe hit the bell icon to get notified when I publish that video, if you really don't wanna miss it. After that, I'll also be doing a video on how to have two separate contact forms on one Shopify site. So you might have a general contact form like this, and then you might also have a second contact form for a wholesale application form or something like that. So stay tuned for that. And of course, leave me a comment if you wanna request any topic. And that's all for today. I'll see you next time.